लाइमलाइट फिल्म अवार्ड्स गत सात बचर धरे आयोजित यह अनुष्ठान बीरतर अन्तम जनप्रिय शर्ट फिल्म कम्पिटन ए पर्यत अनुष्ठान प्राय चौदश शर्ट फिल्म प्रदर्शित हो आयोजन मुखरित हो प्राय पांच जन खतन चलचित्र और टी अनुष्ठान निर्माता और तारक पदचारण आयोजन दीर्घद मसुर आलि सम्प्रति तैर कर महान मुक्तिजुद्ध भित्तिक चलचित्र संग्राम चलचित्र इतम प्रशंसित भिन्न मात्रा मानुषर इतिहास दर्शक आज के कम्यूनिटी चैम्पियन लाइम लाइट फिल्म अवार्ड और मंसुर आलि आसन जानी Hello and welcome back to Community Champions. Uh, this is the last segment for tonight, and we are talking to uh, representatives, uh, directors, investors, supporters of. Uh, Limelight Film Awards and the future film Shongram. Now, um, before the break, I was speaking to Mansoor. Now, Mansoor, um, let's quickly tell our audience. Uh, you know, we, we've, we've given them some brief uh, storyline, what it's all about. But I think um, Stephen touched on something amazing because Shongram uh, actually is a story of not just you know uh, the liberation war. It's a story of love. It's a story of separation. It's a story of you know pe someone who's struggling through this time, but also looking for his you know person that he loves, and then he finds out that she's married and so on. It's just like there's so many different you know, elements to this story. It's not just one dimension. It's not just war. It's not just love. It's a mixture of many things, and it could you know there's so much into this story. And uh, was this all your idea, or did you? Uh, we, funnily enough, yes, but. Um, it was my 12th draft, you know, because I, I, I wrote the script, rewrote it, rewrote it, rewrote it. Uh, and then when I finally had the final version, I uh, met up with Billy McKinnon, who produced uh, a film with Kate Winslet. He also uh, was a script editor for a uh, multi-award winning film called Piano. So he invited me over. I stayed at Ber Berlin. And he went through the whole script. And, uh, you know, he said to me, this is the first time you, you wrote a script. And I was like, crap, what's he going to say to <laughs> you? And I'm like, yeah. And then he goes, Monster, I don't see anything I can change. I'm like, Billy, there's really? something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But all he did well. was he, he went through, he, he, he sat through there, and, and he asked a bit about the language, but then he swapped some scenes around, you know. Mm -hmm. So the, the first scene that you see, that's Billy's doing. Billy said, put this over here, get that impact straight away. Okay. And that was am amazing. But for me, 
for my first feature film, Going to Billy, someone who's been in the industry for so many years, he's worked with big, big Hollywood names, his brother's a big director, producer in, uh, in, in Hollywood as well. For me to get that kind of recognition or appreciation from Absolutely. him, Absolutely. Was, was for me was like, wow, this, you know, I'm either, this is a big fluke or I'm either doing something, <laughs> something, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the right path. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Now, uh, Peter, again, I'm going to come back to you because, you know, this is, this is the young man that you taught. That's correct. You know, yes. and now he's making his own feature films, you know. I yeah. mean, it's just that's amazing, sick. isn't it? Well, of course, you know, that's the, the kind of um, what we look towards with our students, but it's, it's very, very rare. Yeah. But, you know, obviously we're immensely proud of Mansoor and what he's achieved. And, um, you know, I know that this program's about Mansoor, but coincidentally, at the time, Mansoor got his feature film together. We had two other graduates who also made feature films. So kind of like buses. You really? wait for years and then, <laughs> then, yeah, then three, to come, yeah. three come together. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but you know, Munso's film and, and going on to Rich Mix and seeing the screening of it was, was kind of a great source so, of So, you know, as this, you know, former tutor, guru, do you have, you know, any, any um, advice or any, you know, on the film or on? Um, no, I mean, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> not really. Just, you know, Munso's obviously a very driven person who works very hard and, you know, Mansell knows what it takes to make those things happen. Yeah. And, you know, I, I guess my advice would be for anyone out there who wants to be a filmmaker is look to Mansell and don't underestimate how difficult it is and how hard you have to work and, and the passion and, and kind of not taking no for an answer, I guess. Some people like Monster must, must make you feel, you know, immensely proud. Absolutely. And, you know, absolutely, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, Shongram, you know, I, I personally thought it was, you know, fantastic movie. Now we as community people, you know, it's, it's up to us now to support Mansoor, um, not just with Shongram, but with future um, opportunities that he, can, he might, you know, I'm sure this guy is, you know, he's very talented, he'll come up with many more ideas and suggestions and he'll come to you again and say, well, I, I want to do this now, you know. Um, now, uh, I've got an answer to that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I was quite uh, amazed because I, I have to go back to Anupam Khed because he's a, you know, a Bollywood star. Yeah. You know, the guy's acted with all the best top actors in Bollywood and Hollywood. You know, he's, he's been amazing. Now, for Monsu to direct someone like him, mm. it's just, you know, mind-blowing, isn't it? Yeah, look, I, you're not talking to a film buff. I know, I'm not, but you know Anupam Khed is The other thing is that Bollywood is, 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 is not something I've watched a lot of. I mean, uh, you, you, I know the Indian cricket team much better than Bollywood stars, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's a frank thing. But what I did realize that, uh, as I said from the outset, I knew what he was doing, and that's what I was putting my, t uh, my money into, and I knew he had a, a, a very clear view of what he wanted to do. He wanted to cover this kind of important uh, point in the history of mm. Bengalis, Bang Bangladeshi Beng uh, Bengalis in particular, in a kind of romantic narrative which would appeal to people. and. I could see that as a layperson, and I could see uh, I could see it would develop, and it had done. And I think he should be uh, uh, incredibly satisfied that he's put something together here that's worthwhile. I just hope uh, the community gets an opportunity to see it, on, on, and, and the distribution is there for us to put it on show in the East End, West End, and whatever, mm. and many others to come and watch it because I think uh, there's something there. Um, as I was said earlier, I think this may be the future for cinema if, it, if, uh, if we're going to move away from Hollywood and go tr uh, global. Uh, yeah, this combination yeah. of different languages, different settings, and, and uh, actors from different parts, the different worlds. Because uh, invariably, the Hollywood is, has got a similar formula to the Bollywood formula. And you either like it or you don't. Yeah. And I think maybe this is where uh, the, the future is. So I'm hoping. Um, I think the best way the community can support the film is go out there and watch it and see it and talk about it and um, pa pa pass, pass comments about it because I think there is a discourse to be had. I, I mean, for example, when I watched the premiere uh, soon after, there was, there was one thing I remember as, as, a, as, as a kid during, during that. Not only the way my family also left, but I also remember being bombed. Because that was an aspect that people, uh, they, they, the Pakistani uh, had control of the Air Force and, and they, they were bombing. And it's right. odd actually, with the recent stuff in Gaza, I suddenly felt, you know, like one of those kids right. running around in Gaza. Yeah. 
The bizarre thing about it, when I was talking to my mum about it, she remembers us running out to see and wave at the blooming things bombing us. Wow. But uh, <laughs> apart from that, it, it just shows how films like this will bring out these kind of uh, emotions and experiences, which have been lying dormant in, in, in my mind uh, for, for yeah, some yeah. time. And I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, many people, not only within uh, the Bangladesh community, will be able to relate to, to it in terms of their family history, but further and beyond, because I think there's a very human story there, a struggle, a struggle to, of a man to find himself, yeah. not just his, his love, uh, but also uh, h h how you deal with that. And, and once you get there, sometimes you're just going to move on and realise she's not there. Absolutely. And I think well, that's, that's, that's the, the, I think that's the, the, the greatness of the film. Brilliant. Mansoor, well, we're actually running out of time. Now, uh, quickly tell us, um, when can people have watched the film? Well, the film's, uh, the film's been hitting quite a few festivals. We were just in the London Indian Film Festival. It's the largest South Asian film event in the uh, whole of Europe. Yeah. Uh, it was the first time in the five years that the uh, British uh, or Bangladesh film has been selected for it. We okay. had people like Nana Patekar, uh, lots of other Bollywood and... Uh, it's another Bollywood sense. actor, okay. by the way. Okay. Right, Carl, yeah. right. I'll get Nana these yeah. um, And we had last year Irfan Khan from you know, Lunchbox and uh, Life of Pi as well. So, uh, now we, it's been selected at Singapore, which we have to go next month. Wow. Uh, in November, we have to go to um, Seattle in America, where the film's been selected. It's also been selected in two festivals in India as well. So we've got quite a lot of strong festivals, and we will be releasing it throughout cinemas in the UK and globally as well. But I suppose this film, now I've done my part about 71. I'd love for people to then do their part, mm. talk about it, share the film. Uh, you know, the website is shongram.com. Share the trailer on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you can. Tell people about it. We will be coming around with big, big posters when, once we finalise the actual distribution date, release date. Uh, we will be in Birmingham, Manchester, and of course our hometown in, in London. Did you also recently done uh, something with Karishma Kapoor? I did, yes. What was that? I was uh, approached by a, a, a company in India to direct a, a big TVC for Karishma Kapoor a few weeks ago. Uh, so I've, you know, I, I directed you know, the wonderful Karishma Kapoor. Uh, I've been really fortunate to have worked with people like Shah Rukh Khan, Akon, 50 Cent, you know, all of, oh, brilliant. you know, I d don't want to name them, but this is kind of what I've been doing for the last 10 years and finally coming to Shong Ram. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, people, uh, you know, show your love and support. This is about 71. It is a truly untold story. Uh, we need to share it with the world and you can take so much away because the film is in many layers. The romantic element we can, anyone can identify, you know, we also have the unique 1971 original NBC yeah. News report. Yeah. Uh, that starts off the film as well. So there's loads of little elements you can take away from the film. Thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you really enjoyed this episode today uh, because we spoke about uh, a, a young man from here, from UK, who has followed his dreams and he's, you know, and he's uh, fulfilled his dreams so far. And we hope and we pray for him that you know he can go on and do more films. Uh, direct more films, produce more films, write for more films, and we hope that we can support him in doing so. And please make sure when Shongram comes out, go and watch it. It's, it's absolutely worth it, I'm telling you. I've watched it, Moraj watched it, he's acted in it, he directed it, and he taught him. Yeah. So please watch it, okay? Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>